Hey guys, welcome back to Titanium Man Garage. And uh, if you're a new subscriber, keep in mind I've got uh, a bunch of videos out there from 94 to 2004. So whatever you got going on, two strokes, four strokes, I probably got a video on it. So today, we're going to tear apart a transmission on a 96 Sportsman 500. Uh, I got this off the farmer, he said the transmission went bad on it. So I'm going to rip the rear axles out start from there, pull the clutches, and uh, just want to let you guys know, as I'm recording, uh, I'm going to just let the camera roll, and when I get to parts that are a uh, certain detail, like the axles, I'm going to post links, I have uh, videos that are a little more detailed on uh, what I'm doing, so that way this isn't like a 30 minute, 40 minute video, um, that way if you want to see how to take a rear axle out, I got a video on that, you can just click on the link. Um, so, alright, uh, sit back, relax, have a beer, and enjoy the show. So the story behind this is the farmer that owned this last uh, started pulling the transmission out. And he couldn't find a replacement, so he started tearing bolts out. Um, let me kind of give you a quick over. There's bolts here, so two bolts here from the swing arm, or the A-arm that go into this transmission. Um, got a couple here, he's got this disconnected already. Like I said uh, in my preview, farmers tend to take good care of their machines. Um, yeah, they don't wash them too well. I'm going to nickname, nickname this one the cow because it's full of cow crap. Uh, but there's a bonus to this. There is a uh, nice newer clutch on there, that's not a Polaris. Um, so let me show you what I got going on. Initially, I first thought it might might have just been the shift linkage that was uh, uh, maybe bent or not adjusted right. You know, shift linkage is here. Uh, I've actually bought a couple ATVs that the guys thought the transmission was shot, and uh, all I did was adjust just the shift linkage. So I'll show you what I got going on here. Uh, I took the uh, the cover off. The bolt cover and uh, I started spinning the secondary right now it's a neutral just to kind of see what's going on see now this guy had taken this apart and uh, I'm gonna show you guys he did this all the wrong way he he pulled the uh, the axle shaft out first you should really unbolt it from here pull it out the right way disconnect all this stuff and uh, I'm going to go through that and show you how to do it the right way. Uh, if you pull a transmission, don't do it like this. He's got his axle shaft stuff there. Um, so what I wanted to show you was if I put it in gear now, and I'm going to spin the uh, secondary. There you go. You heard it? So there's something going on there. So I'm sure the more he drove, the more click, click, click. So it's always hard to uh, leave off where somebody started, you know, when you're working on somebody else's project. Half of everything's all taken apart. Um, if I were to do this and start from scratch, I would, uh, you know, pull the hubs off, get rid of the, the arms, move that all the way. Uh, I would pull the axle shafts out first, um, get rid of the, uh, the clutches, and uh, move that backing plate. Uh, he's got it half disassembled. I don't even know how he planned on pulling this apart. Uh, I don't know. He just did it backwards. So um, hopefully this video guys helps you out. So uh, if you ever have to take a tranny apart, you don't do it like this guy did. So I guess what I'm going to start to do is uh, I'm going to start pulling this apart, get this all out of the way. I'll get my clutches out of the way. Get my uh, shifter cables disconnected. And uh, in order to pull this out, I'll have to move the exhaust through. I think I'm going to have to pull this out only because this might hit when I pull it out. And uh, I'll disconnect the uh, the brake, the rear brake. I'll, I'll pull that completely off. Get that out of the way.
Now you wouldn't have to take that out if you didn't want to, but me, I just want to get it out of the way. What I like to do just to keep uh, keep track of my parts so I don't lose everything is I try to assemble as much stuff, I try to keep as much stuff together as I can, so you know all goes back together. Okay, so you remember how this side had the, uh, the busted U-joint. Um, what I was able to do is I left the hub on and I had to put the tire on to keep this from spinning and I took that nut out. And now I can slide this out. There you have it. Here, right, let me show you what I got going on here. I got this disassembled. The uh, rear axle shaft did some damage here. So I actually have um, another uh, swing arm or A arm, whatever you call it. That's probably why this is so tight. It won't even move. And this is pretty hacked up. Uh, I might end up having to replace that. So I'm going to go ahead and take this off. Remove the spring because that's probably going to hit anyway. And uh, I'm taking this off anyway. All right, so from here I removed the, the exhaust, I removed the muffler. Um, that shock that was in here, I actually think that was probably uh, the start of the issue. The shocks, the bushings were bad. So I removed that, and then I'll be able to pull that out of the way. So my next step is I'm going to remove this. this uh, Four bolts up here. One, two, three, four. And that connects to the transmission right here. And there's uh, two bolts on this side and two bolts on the other. And so you'd remove those first and then uh, remove these. Uh, I'm just going to get that bracket out of the way because it'll be uh, easier to slide that transmission back. And yeah, let's see where else is there some bolts. So uh, two here. And then, uh, of course, the ones here. And I think there's two at the bottom. Uh, let's see here. There's one here. Yeah, like I said, I'm uh, finishing else, uh, somebody else's project, so it's always a little tricky because uh, you never know where that guy stopped and started. So I don't know what bolts he removed and what he didn't. So, so I'm going to take this off. I'm going to remove my shift linkages. And, uh, yeah, this thing should be about ready to pull. Alright, so I got those two bolts out, bolting into the tranny. And then uh, there's two bolts here, and we can get this plate out of the way. Now, um... As I was separating this, like I have this up in the air, and uh, the top and the bottom frame is starting to separate. So just keep that in mind. I've got jack stands under the frame, so it doesn't drop. But it's just something you should keep in mind. So I'm going to go ahead and remove those two bolts and get that plate out of the way. I'm going to uh, remove my linkage here for the brake, and then I'm going to pull that off. And I'm going to remove my shift linkages. Alright, I'm going to remove the shift linkage. What I do is I just got a little uh, locking uh, needle nose pliers and I use a 10 millimeter. And I'll remove that bottom bolt. And then for this shift linkage over here, I just disconnected it right here. Uh, uh, take the pin out. This little guy pops out. 
and then when I pull the transmission out I'll be able to get uh, the rest of that off it's just another cotter pin down there and a pin that pops up and I just uh, don't really feel like reaching it from here this is just easier okay so next will be the uh, the brakes and uh, do your clutches on the other side and uh, I got the one bolt underneath here and then we're gonna have to lube this up really good down here this this shaft going in here um, because that's gonna separate and then we'll pull it all back and see how she goes one last thing I forgot to mention don't forget to disconnect your speedometer cable let's just twist off and pull out all right so let me give you a quick overview of which bolts to pull you got that uh, plate two bolts there you got the two bolts the four bolts there for the a-arm bolts here bolts here same on the other side and of course uh, the thing that comes down there are three bolts I believe on the bottom so you've got uh, one here there's two here you can see right there's two here and uh, I believe that's gonna be it I thought there was another one back here so we're gonna pull them three bolts and start prying on this thing and see what it does all right so I got the tranny pulled so uh, if you didn't see in the camera here's the shaft that comes off the transmission and uh, here's your front drive basically trying to get that out of that so I had to hold the transmission use my persuader and knocked her a couple times and I have one transmission removed. So I'm ready to uh, put the new tranny in um, show you guys uh, a little tip here so best thing to do is if you can get these really clean and then uh, put some uh, grease on there that way that should slide right into that front drive shaft um, I'm gonna pull the uh, speedometer cable um, bracket whatever you call it and put it on that tranny I want to do that first before installing it and we're gonna slide that bad boy in there like a like a turd on a hot tin roof all right so I got it in place I got the greased up that shaft so it slid right in now I just got to get it to pop forward so this should uh, slide right in there while I'm pushing it in so I'm gonna use my persuader make it come in a little bit slide right in perfectly Woo, nice Get her all lined up, I can start bolting her on. All bolt holes lined up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bolt these up first. The bolts underneath. And then I'll put that carriage on. Alright, so it's blue Loctite on there. I'm going to throw some Loctite on there once I clean out the bolts. Something to grip on to. Just going to get all four started. So everything lines up. These two and the two on the other side. Then I'll do the three on the bottom. Alright, so the reason I like uh, is getting the bolts lined up first is uh, if you don't have your bottom ones lined up, you start tightening these down, bottom ones might not line up. So, like I said, this seems to be sliding forward a little bit. So, we're just going to hand start all the bolts to the bottom. And once they're all in and everything's lined up, I'm going to tighten it all down.
So I do not know the torque specs offhand. I'm going to have to look them up. All right, now I'm just going to snug everything up. see when something goes together. Alright, now we'll put that top plate in place. And me, I like to clean everything up before I put it back together. I got a nice clean machine to work on. I mean, Alright, so anybody remember how that goes back on? <laughs> uh, I think it goes that way. And I'll do the same thing again. I'll line up all four bolts. Show you guys what I'm doing. Just getting these bolts tight. And that's right, I need an extension or a wrench on that one. Go. I got that bracket in, that bracket in. She's basically in place right now. All the bolts to hold the transmission are in place, so the rest is just the accessories. There we go. It turns out I'll have to replace that shot because the bushings down there are shot. This thing wiggles. So yeah, I'll be replacing the shocks, be replacing the uh, axle shaft, and uh, maybe give this back rack a nice coat of paint. Alright, so one last thing that I didn't go over, and uh, I'm not going to go through how to do the axles, I'll post a link on how to do that, but uh, there's one important thing to know, the, uh, the axle shafts. There's two different types. Um, 96 through 98, there's a bolt on there. And uh, if you watch my uh, video, that I'll post the link pretty quick right above the screen. Uh, just shove that back in there, tighten the, the bolts on both sides and it, it clamps right in. The newer style ones have a re retaining ring that go right around the edge of this. You grab it. Shove it in. Now, the part I didn't tell you because uh, I didn't have that style was to pull it out. It's kind of like pulling out a slide hammer. Grab this and just yank it out. Might have to try to get a screwdriver behind here. Get it to pop off, but be careful not to damage the case. So here you have it, guys. One installed transmission. I'm not going to go through uh, assembling. Um, the rest of uh, the suspension because like I said you can check that out in my other video uh, so I'll just uh, adjust the linkages put the brakes back on uh, right now I'm waiting on parts so I have to get the rear axle shaft that's coming in and I've actually got that swing arm or a arm that's all bent up um, I gotta find that and replace that I got my clutches back in everything's in place um, I'm also replacing the uh, the rear shocks because the bushings are shot. So there you have it. One installed tray. Right. I had to monkey around with it a little bit, so that's the way I can show you. I'm gonna go ahead and put her high. Spin this. See the axles rotating right there. Put it reverse. I think we got her adjusted perfect. Before I go, who wants to see me tear this case apart? I'm kind of curious to see what's going on, so 
If you don't want to see this part, um, thanks for watching the video. But if you do, I'm kind of curious what the inside of this bad boy looks like. So uh, stay tuned and I'm going to rip it apart. And I bet you there's going to be a missing tooth in there or something. Broken chain. We'll find out. Right, hey guys, let me show you what I found out. I got the cover off. Um, I don't know if you guys are just as interested as I am in this kind of stuff, but uh, I think it's pretty cool to see how things work. So what I found out is uh, this uh, transmission is similar to the two-stroked style transmission. It's still got the dog gears, the shift forks, um, this big gear here. And uh, normally your shaft would come straight out that way. Um, this has a little added, uh, a little more added to it. You've actually got uh, another bigger gear back here. Uh, you got another chain, chain tensioner, and uh, which is almost maxed out. This chain is really sloppy. Uh, surprised it didn't fall off. Uh, so what I did was I uh, put it in gear and I wanted to see what was going on, and I started spinning it. And I heard the click click noise that uh, I heard before. And what's going on is this chain down here is actually uh, almost like wanting to jump off of the gears. And it binds up. You can kind of see it's just it's almost falling off basically. See that? So when I spin this, it immediately locks up doesn't want to spin. Now granted with the cover on this is going to spread this apart and make it tighter. But yeah I got this keeps locking up. So uh, that's actually good because um, the rest of the transmission looks good. Uh, I mean there's a little wear on the teeth but I could probably buy a new chain set, put this back together and have a good tranny. Um, he said, I'm sure there's probably more to it once uh, you pull the gears out, pull that big gear out, get the other side for the, uh, the tranny brake. Uh, I'm not going to go that far, at least right now. You know, maybe in the future I will. But So, hope you guys like this. Uh, I don't know, I thought it was pretty cool to tear something apart I never did before and check out what the inside looks like, but hey, that's just me. Uh, if you like the video, hit the like button. Uh, please subscribe. I've got... Uh, uh, tons of videos on whatever you got and uh, hit the bell if you want notifications for my new videos that are upcoming. Thanks for watching.